For in New Jersey, nothing stands still. Yesterday's wastelands are today's wealth. This, my friends, is... No sign! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the No Side Podcast. This is episode 90. Hello. I am your host, Antonio Matos, with the co-host, Brandon Mendoza. Now the countdown begins the countdown to 100. <laughs> and T-minus 10. And, and then the next time I, yeah. I say the next one. <laughs> <laughs> and at the 100th episode, you got to... Snip those out. Oh my god, yeah, 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 for the countdown. Yep. Oh my god, yes. How you been? I'm all right. Uh, I guess old man type beat update. Um, you get to do your dad update every My week. old man update versus your yeah. old man update? Yeah, so, I mean, look, I'm young, but I kind of suffer with like old man syndrome, I guess. Got tell a bad back. I do a hard job. You know, I've talked about working UPS. Tell the people you have. Um, no, this is just the rundown. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, in bad back terms, which it's funny because I'm, I'm in pain. And how old like, are you? 20, 23. Okay, okay. Just let's make that clear. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. I, uh, I have that uh, sciatica. Yay! Something old men get. Yeah. Um. Which and it's funny because like I'll talk to people at my job and they're like, "Yeah, I got that shit." It's like, Fuck. And, and it's how like, are these people? And it's like when I'm talking to them, it's like they're like, "Oh shit, you really got that?" Because like I'm explaining the type of shit I feel, and then they'll be explaining how they feel. I'm like, "Oh my god, I feel that same way." Like that. Like I'm like, oh, "You guys bond god. over." Yeah, right? we bond over just. Endless torture. <laughs> Internal nerve damage. Yeah. So, yeah, I got that sciatica shit. Um, just, like, nerve pain. It's, like, this weird shit called radiculopathy. I think I'm, I'm saying it right. I think there's another way to say it, but the way I was... The way it was said to me, it was radiculopathy. Um, my doctor even made a joke, and he was like, but trust me, it's not ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck. Nice. Whatever, dude. That was the day I was getting my MRI, and I got locked into the MRI, and I was I laughed at myself for a second, but then it was torture for ten minutes. I think I texted about texted you about yeah. it afterwards, and they locked me into the MRI, listening <laughs> to Taylor Swift the whole time. Oh my god! So I'm there just hearing choo 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 choo, bad blood, choo 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 choo. I think that's actual hell. <laughs> I, th- I think you like went to hell for a little bit and like it wasn't like they were playing it in the room like it was like here take these headphones <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> yeah so don't here, move you have to listen to this and i'm there just <laughs> no uh, bad blood no <laughs> Shake it off, shake it off. That's funny. It went through fucking two or three Taylor Swift songs, man. It was that fucking is hell. crazy. <laughs> the most Taylor Swift I've listened to in a row. But that shit does come out, come on during like family parties. We usually gather at my one aunt's house on like holidays and stuff, or either one of my aunt's places. But uh, they always kind of just have like early 2000s or like 2010s pop. That's like their go to. We're just putting this fucking 2010s playlist on of just pop music. Bow! She got them apple bottom jeans. Dude, not even. Like fucking. Well, that's like, like, like 2000 One Direction. Radio. Oh, like really? Shit. Like, oh, yeah, shit. I'm like, thinking of like radio music. No? No. Like, yeah. Like, like, like kind of radio hits, but like not that deep. Not like hip hop, more like like Taylor Swift, that kind of like like that like um like Beyonce will come on a little bit. Oh, single ladies. Oh, the Queen will oh, make a visit. Ladies. Oh, single ladies. Yeah, like shit. Even like the that. Queen oh, appears. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, man. Like fun, fun pops up a bunch. Uh, some night. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey there, Delilah. What's yep. it like? Yeah, no. that comes on a lot. <laughs> yeah. 
There's the funny thing because like I'm the eldest of like my siblings and the cousins. And Coming out of my cage. Like I even I'm made a joke this because like it was just Easter. So also uh, to the people listening, I hope everyone had a good Easter. Um, mine I ate and slept, but I digress. I made a joke on Easter to to my one aunt because the TV in the living room was off when we got there. I I laughed and I was like, I'm surprised Hop isn't on. Because there's, like, a handful of movies that, like, since I was young, mm-hmm. like, in middle school and, like, growing up with all my little cousins and shit. This was the shit? There was, like, a handful of movies that any, it didn't matter, it, like, they were on. And it was Hot for Easter, 100%. Christmas, I don't know if there's a specific movie they go to. Home Alone. And not because it's more animated movies oh, okay. that they go, they went to. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Not even because that would scare them. I remember trying to show my cousins uh, the the live action Jim Carrey Grinch mm. for Christmas, Too and scared. like freaked out my cousins. What about Rudolph the Red Nose? Not that the deep. I grew up with that. He's not that deep. Yeah, yeah. my cousins now they'd be like, "What the fuck that, is this? That's Take culture this shit." shit. Yeah. It's getting yeah, cool. But so it was like hot for Easter, a hundred percent. Like, and the, and when I made mm-hmm. the joke to my aunt, she was like, "I was literally gonna be putting it on in a minute." And I was like, "That's what I fucking thought." <laughs> <laughs> but it was that. But just basic movies, like they could be on whenever, mm-hmm. any time of the year, any time we got together, they were on. <laughs> Despicable Me one, I have probably watched that near. I want to say, if I'm gonna be generous, like a like a reasonable number. Maybe 748 times I watched that movie. That's a um, lot. Yeah. It's a good it movie. Was, but it was on lot. all the time. And then another movie, a uh, movie that doesn't get talked about a lot anymore, Maybe but I think mind. was a good movie, but it gets tiring when you fucking see this movie again, another generous number, maybe 936 times um, was Rio. Ah, fuck that movie, dude. I hate that movie. It's cool the first couple times. No, it's not. There was the Angry Birds Rio. I fucked with the Angry Birds Rio. But, yeah, it was, uh, it got, it's just, yeah. Once you've seen the birds, you've seen the birds. Uh. Me when I was younger? (laughs) Scooby-Doo. That's it. Scooby-Doo 1, the live action. That was yours? That was my shit. I used to watch that okay. shit on repeat. And then in middle school, it was The Hobbit. I used to fucking rewatch the first Hobbit movie, like, f- like multiple times, like, five, six times a day. You're a Hobbit. <laughs> I'd go to sleep, like, every night watching The Hobbit. You're a Hobbit. I am a Hobbit. I don't even take offense to that. Okay. Wow. And I take offense to that. Well, I didn't say anything. Yawn, Hobbit. Oh my god. Oh my boring. god. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about it. I was even thinking sleeping. about getting the Lego Hobbit. We'll play it on the channel. No. We gotta play a Lego game on the channel just because no. I know it's gonna be painstaking for you. No, we have to. If a Lego, if we're playing a Can Lego game. Can we play game, the Lego Batman games? They're really good. I know they are. I was thinking that. I was gonna say Lego Star Wars. The like, original is good, not the new. Yeah, yeah, one the, that original, came out. Yeah, the original. Yeah, the original one's yes, great. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, I would do that. I don't know. Legos is I. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah, like it's like to me the games like yeah they're Lego, but like certain ones just hit where it's like you're not like like they're genuine. It's, it's not even about them being Legos. It's just they're really good games. It's That's rated E for everybody for for a reason. Like the Lego Indiana Jones is actually really fun. Mm-hmm. And I remember playing that on the DS, and I remember like, dude, it's so funny to think like where we are, we are now in 2024 with like fucking AI around mm-hmm. the corner and shit. I remember holding my DSi XL and putting in Indiana Jones for the first time, and getting into like the first level, and it told me I had to like blow out a torch that was hanging up on the wall. Oh, you had to use a little mic. And in I'm the like DS? sitting there, and I'm like, what? How? And I'm like, literally, like my dad sitting on the couch with me. And I, it's not, I don't even think the game prompted me to do it. Or if it did, I did what I've been doing all my life. And it's just not read instructions in a game. <laughs> but I was like, huh, what if I just blow? And I blew into it. Just kind of like, 
what the fuck? <laughs> like, what are those? Like, yeah. what the fuck's going on? And it blew out. I was like, dude, dad, look, look, what the fuck? Whoa. Like, it, like that's, that was, def- I was like, holy shit, we're living in the future. This there is was, modern technology. There was a Zelda game for the DSi where, or I guess the DS is, I don't, doesn't really matter. I guess the DS where you would um, have to play the flute and you'd have to like use the the star the 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 bottom screen and the little stick to bring it up to the mic. Oh wow! And then you go, and then it plays each note, and it was fucking Whoa, awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, and there was also a time where um, uh, in the game it was like. You had to get the imprint from the top screen to the bottom screen, and I didn't know how to do it. And I was like, "What the fuck, like, <laughs> bro?" I tried so hard, I I couldn't figure it out, and I ended up uh, YouTubing it because that's when I used to not, you know, I just want to play the game. I don't yeah. care. So they, t- I, I read it actually. They said close the game, like close the thing. And then when I closed the screen, the imprint went from the top screen to the bottom. And it was that's how I Whoa. solved the puzzle. Dude, I was so fucking baffled. That's really cool. Like even like they even made like learning kind of fun back then. Like they can make a game fun and then it's like at the same time you're learning. Mm-hmm. Did you ever play the game, the Brain Age games? Yeah, those were cool. Yeah, and the fact that you like turn the DS to the side and yeah. you're holding it like a book the whole and time. You, yep. Oh, that's the reason? Yeah, it's because it was like a book. You're oh, and wow. you're like going through pages doing Doing, doing different math problems and shit. Oh, I never put that together. Yeah. I always wondered why. Wow. Yo, the DS was fucking goaded, bro. Yeah, seriously. The DS was awesome. You saw the April Fool's joke? Oh, with the, the Switch? Nintendo did? The <laughs> VR? Yeah. That was really that was good. funny. It got me for like five seconds until they say, they got me until they started like showing off the games and I was like shut the fuck up and the big, they had me in the first half and then when they did like the Luigi I think it was a Luigi's Mansion 4 and the bitch was yeah. just vacuuming and you know what like I was still skeptical because like, I, like as you're watching it you start thinking very quickly you're like oh that's really co- wait is that just a switch in it oh, v- how is that even possible very cool concept yeah it is a cool concept but, but yeah it wouldn't work because there's no camera in the switch that you know that you can't see it. And funny thing about VR, my my, because speaking of Easter as well, my little cousin has a fucking Meta Quest apparently. Really? Yeah, that's um, pretty cool. Yeah, he showed me, and he was like very nonchalant about it too, which was funny too. He's like, "Hey, because to them, to them it's Quest. just a Game Boy. True. Imagine. Yeah, it's like not that. That's crazy to me. Like I still never like. Imagine at, when he's how old is he? Twelve. Imagine when he's. 25. Isn't that wild that he's 12 and he's just like holding a meta quest? Like, hey, bro, if you give him a meta quest, if you give him a Game Boy Advance, he's gonna be like, what the fuck is this leapfrog (laughs) bullshit? Dude, I see, I've already, we've already done it because, like, like when I used to live back at my parents and they'd come and visit for like holidays at my parents' house, like, we still had the GameCube and like it used to be hooked to my room and then it was hooked up in my, my, my brother's room for a while. So, like, they would come over and like the littlest one that's younger than him, his brother would stick around and play the GameCube. But the older one, he'd just be like, fuck it. This is boring. Yeah. But now I don't think either of them would play an older console. Cause they have a switch. They have a PlayStation five. They have a meta quest. Like they have all the new shit, shit. Yeah. you know, Why like, I go backwards. I still remember looking at a PS three, like, Oh, like this is the console. Like, the Holy grail. And then I got an Xbox 360, my own Xbox 360. You're like, this Elite. is the future. Matt Black. Yeah. Fucking 512 gigabyte storage. Cha-ching. Like, <laughs> now, now, like, the, the, the minimum you want on a fucking console is a terabyte. At least, yeah, right. because games nowadays are, like, 100 yeah. gigabytes. <clears throat> Atomic Heart. Red Dead. <sighs> Red Dead isn't even that much. No, it's Like, not. 70? It's still, that's 80? a whole fucking it is lot. It's a lot, it's a lot yeah. dude. Surprisingly, it's it's that. A lot of games are a lot. They're not like no like five gigs like they used to be. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Mm-hmm. Kids we, these days. Yeah. Um, how did you... Uh, how did we end up here? We were just talking about your sciatica. 
trail. You see? <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, this is how our podcast goes. I love it, though. Yeah. Fuck sciatica. Either way. Yeah, no one wants to hear about my fucking sciatica. Yeah, like, he's an old man. We all get it. Yeah. Grow. I was going to say grow up, but you already are growed up. Yeah. Cause, grow, grow down. Because, like. Be your age. I know how people can get. Like, if you don't feel what I feel, you're you not really going to get it. You know, yeah. so like you can hear to an extent that someone's in pain, but when someone keeps incessantly, like, oh, I'm in pain, oh, I'm in pain, oh, I'm in pain, oh, I'm in pain. It's, it's like, like, all right, I get it. Like, but they don't understand like how yeah. that actually is. Day they break day it day down. Out. But, you know, that's why I, I can't blame a person. So that's why I just try not to like harp on the whole thing too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. I'm just, yeah. Crippling. Hopefully. Career <laughs> change at some point, and then I can fucking yeah. heal up. That's all. It's really just from working a manual labor job like all the time. So, I mean, it does you know take a toll on your body. Yeah. Whether you'd like it, I, mean, or I think not. I pulled something in my arm. Really? Yeah. No way. <sighs> like, it's good, but like up to this point. Other than that, it hurts. It's like, yeah, it's not like nothing sharp or anything, but like, I don't know. You think it's like a muscle though? It it feels like it is. Like the way when I move it, it feels. Yeah, I don't know. Because like even like loading trucks at work, it's like, I have to like kind of try to use this arm, but it sucks because my left arm is my more dominant arm when it comes to like loading a truck. Wow, so especially awesome. like when we get those big bags, the big nylon bags, you kind of like literally have to like javelin toss up top on top of like the mm-hmm. the walls of boxes you're building. It's like fuck, because sometimes people get hit with those bags and there'll be like fucking fifty of them. So you're literally sitting <laughs> there like javelin tossing bags for like an hour. Damn, loading sucks, dude. To be honest, though, would rather load than unload. Yeah, that's what you told me before. That's kind of odd to me i do see it though it's mainly because it's a especially on the shift i'm on they don't unload trucks like we used to Mm. all of our shit used to be palletized and saran wrapped and it was neat you remember at the end of the night when we would be leaving and you'd see those extra trucks backed up at the end of the night that's what the preload is unloads the, uh, all the, the, the truck yeah where there's no pallets it's just fucking bottom to, to top just filled with boxes yeah. that's horrible uh-huh. uh, I don't want to talk about work anymore fuck that shit bro <laughs> I gotta be there in a couple hours um, well I can segue into something maybe a little bit more um, insane but uh, I downloaded an app earlier this week and I'm actually happy we're doing this podcast because it means after this podcast I could actually like uninstall the app I was going through a little social experiment with myself um, I found out that there was a Ukrainian air raid application I knew that was going to be the app you were, I didn't want to spoil it but I knew that was going to be it I knew yeah. it because you heard the podcast the other day yeah. right? and yeah. you're like oh my god I gotta download it because yeah. he was like, anybody could download it. Motherfucker, I was at work. I couldn't download it. Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah. So this week, I because like when, if for people that don't know, there was a Joe Rogan podcast with, uh, I think a dude named David Holdhouse. I think his first name's David. Um, that was the one that it didn't come out yesterday, like two days ago, right? Like two days ago, yeah. yeah. That was a really um, good one. Yeah, that one really he got cool. like, talk, he talked about like aliens and all that shit. Yeah, it got really deep. Yeah, it was that. really cool. Yeah, but anyway. Cool. Yeah. So they were talking about... Uh, the dude that was on the podcast, he was talking about his trip to uh, U- the Ukraine. And uh, during that conversation, he brought up this app that was made for Ukrainians and also for like people that live in the States or something that have friends of Ukrainians and stuff to be able to keep track of what's going on over there. But it's really like this air raid app where it gives you notifications and you can pick multiple regions, pick the region you live in as a Ukrainian. Um and it will let you know when your region is getting striked by fucking missiles. And when I tell you that notifications are day in and day out on my phone. Is it scary to see that? Every time you see to, that, people might you're die? you're trying to put your... Seriously, yeah. Like I had to turn off the sound notification because the sound notification for it was literally the state of emergency sirens. And then it's like a Ukrainian man saying... Shelter, shelter, seek, 
shelter. And it's like, like mm, seriously, yeah. Really? And it's like to have that go off, not every couple hours, not every two hours, not every hour. Like, I mean, every 10 to 20 minutes, different regions going off. Alarms letting you know that it's over and then alarms going off that there's a new missile strike or a shelling or tanks coming in or some shit. You know, I can even show you the app a little bit. I really can't show it on the uh, the the pod. Should you record it? I could. My phone's on 2%. I got to plug it in. There we go. Plug this in. I'll start our screen record on my phone. All right, so it's screen recording right now. Um, I'll do like a little snap in the audio. No, it's not going to pick up on the phone. Never mind. Um, so just line app, it up to when you say it's screen recording now, right? Yeah. Um, so on this app, you can select a region. So say if you're Ukraine, you can pick a region from this list. Um, you can even pick key, uh, Kiev right here. And, like, even right here in the regions tab that I have, there's two regions that are already lit up. Two alerts on this one. Not even going to attempt to say that name. And you can go to the map, and this map shows you each region that are lit up currently right now. This was getting bombed right now? Those are what areas of Ukraine, different regions that are getting bombed right now. And you get alerts, and you can click on the regions, and it tells you how long ago the alert was. This last alert was 23 minutes ago from this region, an air alert. Um, That's actually fucking scary. And if I were to click on a region, um, like this region, the Luhansk region... Um, Luhansk region, air alert, immediately proceed to the nearest shelter. If there are no shelters around, at least two walls must separate you from a potential shell impact zone. If you do not know where the nearest shelter is, use the Telegram bot at Ukraine Shelter, uh, ST Falcon bot, by clicking the Find Shelter button. This bot will help you find the closest shelter by geolocation. Locate the nearest bomb shelter. I was having fun in the beginning. I'm not having fun no more. This region has two different warnings, air alert and shelling attack. So we already did the uh, air alert. So shelling attack, what does it tell you to do? If there are no shelters around, find any depression in the ground and lie flat. This will reduce the risk of missile wounds. Do not seek shelter near uh, structures. They may explode or collapse. (sighs) That's happening every day. I mean, I get over 20, 30 notifications every day. Look at my phone right now. You see those notifications? The blue, the, the blue and yellow? Mm-hmm. Really? You got any more? No, it's I cleared them out because there's so many. But these four that I have right here, within the last hour. One hour ago was the latest one that I have on my phone right there. I was having fun like seven minutes ago. I know, it's a crazy turn. You were so excited to show me that. Dude, because it's fucking crazy. I thought you were going to be like, yeah, look at this app. And then we went into the app. Yeah, we went into the app. I didn't think we'd go into the app. I thought you were just going to tell me about it. I didn't know you were like... We're ramping up for this podcast, man. We got the smoke break in six minutes. (sighs) You know how this podcast works. Out the fighting. We're like, uh, anyway, I don't want what's the What's the roller coaster from Six Flags? It just fucking goes up. King the Ka. That's King the Ka. Yeah. What was Nitro? It goes up and then it goes down and up and down and up and down. And what's the difference? What was King the Ka just shoots you up super high up and then you just fall right back down? It doesn't like go down a hill, it goes down like that's the like King you're the Ka. Like falling backwards on King the Ka. No, right? King the Ka is. It, like, Which one's the one you're like falling backwards? Uh, I'm not sure. But the Kinnikai is the one that it literally shoots you out so fast and you go all the way up. And yeah. then when you go down at the top and you go down, it does like twists and shit. Right. And yeah, 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 yeah. El Toro? Was that the one? There no. was like an L something. They're closing that one though. So maybe yeah. I heard on that. Yeah. 
I I think that some. You know which one they should fucking close down? Green Lantern. Yeah, because it hurts Fuck my that, knees. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that one. I did that. It was like the first ride I did. My legs were fucked up for the rest of the trip. Yeah, everybody says that. Um, anyway. That update. Yeah, fuck all this. Yeah, fuck all this. This always brings me anxiety. Stop doing noise. My like when I hear that, all my thoughts start start like racing, and I'm like, fuck. Um, shit. She's standing up more on her own. She's trying to take her first steps. So that's wow. awesome. yeah. I saw a video of her standing up. She was just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I saw a SpongeBob with her last night. The yeah. movie. Yeah. The movie, which movie, though? The original our movie. movie. Yeah, our movie. She was watching it, too. Like, I, was, I had my chips and I was eating, and then she had a little cup of, like, uh, little puffs. Mm. And she was she eating and watching. Now. Yeah, she was eating and watching. I used to steal my sister's puffs. They're low key good. Have they you are had good. them? Yeah. yeah. Every time she dropped them, I'd be like, I don't <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like your loss. You know what that makes remind? You know what that reminds me of? Mm-hmm. Fuck. Um, the I can't remember his name. The the cool dude. The the dude in the arcade and during the movie Monster House. Let me just snatch the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else? To the people that get that reference, I love you. Yeah. I know it was a shitty reference, but... Can you throw that up in the video? Part? <laughs> 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 um, We're trying to get her to talk, so that's really cool. She knows how to clap. And she knows how to wave. Wow. She knows how to give kisses, but not well. Not well. <laughs> no. And she give me a kiss, she goes... <laughs> I'm like, oh, she's retaining information. Yes, she is. Oh my god! Now you got to start watching what you guys say now. Watching what we say, watching what we do, watching what she plays with, Damn, because because now she's conscious. Yeah, when it gets quiet, that's when I'm like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> a quiet baby yeah, is a now, busy baby. Yeah, yeah. Those conniving little monkeys. Yeah, seriously. Um, I know how I was a was at that age she's a little older but you get what i yeah, mean yeah yeah all kids are like that yeah. but no they're saying she's very advanced for her age every everybody says that so it's it's awesome you gotta start getting like surge protectors and shit and like yeah. the plugs for the outlets and whatnot i caught her chewing on the fucking um internet cable <laughs> it wasn't plugged into anything thank god yo she's trying to get connected <laughs> This is all that 5G they're talking about. <laughs> what is Google? Fi- fiber optics. But yeah, it wasn't plugged into anything, but it was just like it was slipping out through her playpen. So mm. she, she ate it. She didn't eat it, but she <laughs> bite it on it. Sorry. Um, you go to pick her up. She shocks you. <laughs> yeah. Um, she. What's the hair sitch like? A lot of hair on her head. Hair. Yeah. So much. She's got a whole set of hair. Um, she's teething a lot, a lot more now. She got point teeth. Where, yeah. Which teeth did she get first? Bottom two. The bottom two. Yeah. <laughs> she looks funny. Uh, she's getting more though. I don't know where, but I know she is because she's biting on everything and she's drooling, <laughs> and it's even like keeping her up from sleeping. Yeah, that's this is. The oh hot my mess god, stage. dude! Well, Monday, Monday night, um. We didn't get to bed till like five because she was just up crying, teething. She'd fall asleep for a little bit, then wake up. Do you guys have those teethers where you put them in the freezer? Yeah, but then freeze? it gets too cold for her hands and she can't hold it. Mm. So I wonder if there's little like how there's like beer koozies. Mm, <laughs> I wonder yeah. if there's little like teether koozies for her. There's a uh, gum numbing gel that we give her sometimes and it helps. And then. I know it's her teething because we put it on her, and then five minutes later she's like asleep. Do you think that that the the gum numbing fit? Uh, yeah, gum, I see. I I guess I have it on. Yeah. Um, the the gum numbing cream. Do you think that makes her drool more? Because mm. if it's numbing, 
You're gonna flash. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it does. It just numbs the the top layer, I guess, of the gum where it's like, like I know. Well, coming I'm, out, you yeah, know what I mean. True. But uh, I know when they numb me, like when I go to the dentist. Oh yeah, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like droopy. I've been there. I remember trying to smoke a cigarette. Uh, I mean, uh, honestly, I, it's probably not. The best thing to say on a podcast, but because people were like, "You're a fucking dickhead," but I got my clean. I got a cleaning done one time at the dentist, and like immediately face numb. <laughs> took out a took cigarette, out a cigarette, lit it up, and I'm like trying to puff, and like because my lips are numb. Yeah, it's like, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, I couldn't even inhale. I can relate, though. One time, I had to go from the side. Like, yeah. how Popeye holds his cigar. You want to know some? Uh, it might be a little TMI. It might be a little crackheadish, But uh, <laughs> one time I got my wisdom tooth taken out. And I wanted to smoke. And they're like, don't smoke. You'll It's bad for you. And I got all paranoid. But, you know, I wasn't eating. I couldn't sleep because... You know, that's what addiction does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I really wanted to smoke a joint. And I remember going outside and I tried hitting it and I felt like you, you know. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it. It's only for today. No. I found the clearest nostril. <laughs> and it went. And it went. Ah! <laughs> God, that shit burnt. But did it get me high? Yes. Yayo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not Yayo, Zaza. <laughs> yeah, dude. But uh, I don't recommend doing that. Just fucking fight through it. If, you know, if you're, or if you're really that desperate to get high, just fucking eat an edible. Just, they weren't accessible to me. Starts doing fucking Scarface quotes after you hit the <laughs> doing those. I, I, I grind up fucking weed and I line it up. <laughs> <laughs> Light it while it's lined up. <laughs> and I just... The Get smoke. The smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually funny as fuck. That'd be a funny video, honestly. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, that was my... Uh, I guess my when my jaw was at a commission, somewhat like yours. Wow. But yeah, yeah other than that, that kind of concludes the dad update. No. Yeah. Little and the little gal. Yeah, she she getting big. She doesn't wear her size clothes. I'll tell you that. She's wearing like a year old. No, she's growing right, out. Did she, did she have a lot of clothes she never even wore? Yeah. Well, she did. We gave them away to charity. Mm. Uh, well, That's what she. sucks about babies in the beginning. It's because then like you get a shit ton of shit for yeah. the baby, and then it's like. I mean, of course, I don't have a baby, but from what I've seen from personal experience, you get a shit for baby, and then they just grow out of it instantaneously. And it's like, damn. I seen um. Not that I seen, but she's been growing out of her. She's nine months. She's about to be ten, and she's growing out of one year old clothing, and she's fitting into like a year and a half clothing. It's like, bruh, slow down. (laughs) And then on top of that. When whenever she doesn't have clothes, we like donate it or something. Mm-hmm. And by something, I mean like we sell it. <laughs> and um, I went and I threw out garbage the other day, and it made me sad because that's my mentality. Like, okay, these baby clothes don't fit our baby, but they might fit somebody else's baby. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I went to go throw out the trash. And next to the dumpster is a whole bag of fucking baby clothes. Like, wow. yeah, that somebody just threw out. And I'm like, damn, I guess n- not every parent has that mentality. Nah. And I even like when I go to get her food or her formula or anything, if there's like a certain amount that's there, let's say there's like six, hmm. I'll take three and I'll leave three because I'm not going to take all of them. I'm not going to be a dickhead and, you know, leave somebody else mm-hmm. else's baby with no food or whatever. I guess to, like, kind of add on to what you're saying before we wrap things up, because we got to no get break. on a break soon. Yeah. Um, it's funny. I have kind of been, uh, like, watching and, like, delving into the opposite of that, like, 
donating and shit and like getting rid of stuff mm -hmm. and watching a lot of episodes of hoarders again i've been going on like a hoarders binge oh you see the people that do the opposite do and the just be like opposite and they're like no like, I, like, I, I something there's no I more need babies it for something. everyone's growing up in my family but i'm keeping all of this just in case if someone needs it but then never gives it to someone because they're like you don't need it <laughs> not right now i need this yeah what if i have a baby man you're <laughs> 67 like and you're living in a cluttered house Dude, I mean, there's some really Horrible. fucking bad ones, man. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, maybe it's like a bad take, but like, you know, I tend to joke and say that I have OCD. Some some days I think I do, but like, I just, I know that I'm just extremely neat and organized. That's really what it is. Yeah. You know, I just really like things to be a certain way and to look nice and everything and try to keep things as clean as possible. You know, I've been in a hoarder house before. I've slept in a hoarder house before. So it's like, not fun. it's not fun. It doesn't feel great. You don't feel great. It fucking even wears on like your, your mental capacity and your mental health. Cause you're just like, oh, fuck, like smoking cigarettes on like an old bed, like oh, yeah. in a hoarder house, just no floor to be seen. Just, just enough, like a path for you to walk a and walkway. shuffle through like doors can't even open fully. Like, it's bad. I mean, it's rough. And then they just kind of sit. They're like, just bliss. Is, they're just happy is. with all their fucking loot. Like they're <laughs> in a troll cave. And then you see like even more extreme cases on the hoarder show. And you're like, fuck, like, bro, like, look at all these clothes. Donate them. And it gets to a point where it's like, this is where the bad take kicks in. I can understand that it's a mental disorder, but sometimes it comes down to common sense. And it just seems like people are just not willing to listen. And, like, I'll never know or feel how deep this mental illness goes. But it's like, okay, bro, like, they're li like, you, like, people, like, they're families that have gone? kids living in these conditions. Oh. And it's like, it's obvious that they don't even give a fuck about their kids. And they're more concerned about keeping their shit. And they're like, 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 I was watching this one, and like, to the point where, like, like, the, the woman was like walking in. And was like, and here's the kitchen. And, like, the whole fucking room was just covered in cobwebs. But I mean, not like, like I mean, like, cartoon. Like, it was cartoony how big and how thick these cobwebs are. Because the cobwebs are collecting dust. Ew. So there were dusty cobwebs, and they were thick. Like, like the fucking cans of, like, str like yeah, that fucking weird yeah. shit that you spray on for people. The silly that's string? What, yeah, the silly string. That's what it looked like all over their kitchen. Damn. It looked like a fucking haunted house. That's disgusting. And it's like, then you see the kid's room, and the ro kid's room, there's no floor to be seen. Just garbage everywhere. The bed's covered in garbage. There's roaches in every single room. I remember when they started cleaning the place in the kitchen, there was like a hole in the floor. When they cleaned up the floor, there was a hole that they could see into the basement. Ew. It's like, bro, what the fuck? And they're like, oh, he's a nice kid. And then like the people ask, like, do you think this has affected him in any way? He's like, no, no. He's Seems a good like kid. a normal kid to me. Yeah, normal kid. What? Meanwhile, the dad's like literally on a fucking oxygen tank. Ew. And while they were cleaning and like walking around in one of the rooms, there was like an oxygen tank buried underneath the garbage, and it like started new going one? off. Yeah, like oh filled. my and god! It was just and they were like, "Holy shit, where is it? Like, it's flammable. Like, we got to figure out where this fucking thing is." Digging through fucking garbage and shit. Gross. Crazy. Real quick though. I know we're supposed to move on, but I just want to bring up something. Um, New Jersey. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah we we totally just fucking forgot because we, we already forgot. talked about it. Oh, my it. God. All right. Yeah, this, throw this morning's been so fucking crazy and wild. Just throw this segment in, like, the beginning. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking <laughs> news. New Jersey has been hit with an earthquake, a 4.3 magnitude. 4.8. 4.8 magnitude earthquake. And the real, Imagine. like, heart of it was out in <laughs> Lebanon, New Jersey. Imagine there was a news anchor talking, and then, like, he fucked something up, and, like, someone from behind the camera, like, one of the producers, 4.8! 4.8! <laughs> yeah, 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 what he said. <coughs> but, yeah, fucking, today of recording this podcast, New Jersey got hit with a fucking earthquake. 
Yeah, dude. Yeah, that was I honestly think insane. that was the first one I've ever felt. Like, I think I when I was younger, I slept through one, but it was much lighter. It was super lighter, and yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. And yeah, I slept through it too. Like, I never like waking up the next day, and my parents were like, "You know, we went through an earthquake." I was like, "Really?" And they're like, "Yeah, our bed shook." Like, hey, you know what's fuck? funny? Coming to think about it, back when it first happened, years and years ago, mm. I was living where I'm living now, but as a kid. Uh, yeah. Uh, so now fast forward, same yo, same exact room, same exact position of the bed because that was just my parents' bed. I remade my room almost identical to how my parents had it. Uh, so same position, everything. Fast forward years later till today, same exact thing except I feel it and it wakes me up. And now I'm a parent. Wow. Uh, Crazy, right? Uh, wow foreshadowing yeah, in your own personal story <laughs> yeah wow like if they made like a like a like a graphic novel or like a manga of you this would be a part of like mm-hmm. this would be like three arcs down the line that's like oh shit younger uh, brandon saw this happening for future brandon mm-hmm. and then you come back to fight zamasu Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we fuse. <laughs> All right, guys. It's uh, I think we're gonna take our take our little break ski real quick. So uh, we'll see you guys in the smoke break. Bye bye. I'll give you a break. Oh, you want a break? Yeah. Yes. I'll give you a legalized crystal fucking weed break. You like weed break. I'll give you a glittering and smoking the reaper. Break. Put your mouth on this. Break. What are y'all doing? We're smoking reaper. Oh, you want a break? Smoking reapers? Yeah, of course we are. Can't you smell it? Can't you smell it? Can you smell it? Can you smell it? All right, guys. Welcome, welcome to the back to the hey. I can't say welcome back. You do it. You do the intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the smoke break where we smoke and watch funny ass videos. We break dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where we smoke and break dance. You guys, we don't have cameras up yet, so you could just hear us breaking down. <laughs> We put down a piece of cardboard so you hear us hit on the cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the gym. You hear the sneakers. Like, <laughs> we come back on the mic. We're like, <sighs> that is funny. So for the people that are tuning in for the first time, halfway through our podcast, well, somewhat halfway, we're a little bit more than halfway in now. But anyway, um, in the middle point of the pod, towards more towards in the podcast, we take a break. <laughs> In the podcast. <laughs> in the podcast, we take a break, we smoke a joint, we look at funny videos, and we have a great time. There. You. Let's roll right into it. Keep all that shit in. Sometimes we go through one to ten, sometimes we go back and forth. So how you want to bring it down today? We're gonna do it the same idea. Oh. We need the magic of film. This is for the final episode. The final episode? Or a video. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What, the between one and two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Heads so, or tails, the ones or twos. Yeah. Do you want to choose first? Um, we can we can start the smoke break off with this to see who goes first. I think that could be a cool idea too. Okay. You flip it this time and then I flip the last one. Oh fuck. Nice. Oh, shit, you fuck that was your flip. No. <laughs> I'll I'll be yes, you'll be no. Okay. Heads and tails. We got a, the one with the hands. That should be uh, heads because it starts with an H. Heads and hands. All right. All right, go. You go first. Okay. One through ten. Uh, ten. Ten. You think you're special or something? Yeah. So yeah, today I sent five in, he sent five in, and now we're gonna just watch. So sit back, relax, spark up your joint, your bowl, your bong. Fuck it. Yeah, we're your up cigarette right or your crack pipe. 
Fuck yeah. Just light crack, it up. Crack pipes recommended. To those above the age of 21. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first episode of The Smoke Break. truth oh man i feel bad for those employees <laughs> he got banned from walmart did he really <laughs> i'm assuming because he's doing it in fucking pet stores now <laughs> he went to pet smart for this yeah. one fucking funny it does a good one <laughs> which one are you choosing you guys say the number every time you choose um here we go. Number six. Trying to get Adam 21 riled up so he can go get the Ku Klux Klan members that he worked for. The white supremacists and, and they come and fuck with me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I want motherfuckers to really like take a trip down, you know what I'm saying? My lane of like who the fuck I'm really, like who 1-6 really is, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Since, since you like humiliating black motherfuckers, nigga. Won't you come and step into my world, nigga? I'm daring you to open your mouth and say anything, nigga. Because right now I'm nonchalant, nigga. I ain't even turned up yet, nigga. I want you to get turned up, nigga. So I can fuck you up, nigga. Nigga, I'll fuck you up on sight, nigga. Nigga, like I said, <laughs> fuck you, nigga. Fuck your homeboys, nigga. Fuck your relatives, nigga. Fuck who you work for, nigga. Fuck all y'all niggas, nigga. Fuck your show, nigga. Fuck no jumper, nigga. Fuck Adam 21, like I said, nigga. Nigga, and I'll take off on you on sight, nigga. <laughs> nigga, nigga, as soon as you opened your mouth on that show and said something about play, watch the nigga came up there and socked you right in your fucking mouth, nigga. Nigga, we got bouncers for bouncers, nigga. Nigga, we got bodyguards for bodyguards, nigga. Licensed guns, nigga. What, 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 what you want, nigga? You can play this however you want to play it, nigga. You fuck ass, nigga. Nigga, I smack, I smack the shit out you, nigga. You bitch ass, nigga. Punk ass bitch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I watched this, I I died. The second, well, technically the second time, I counted and I believe there was about thirty three of them. <laughs> <laughs> thirty three of what? <laughs> uh, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy who goes, "Can you use my hand?" <laughs> yeah, dude, this dude's a new star of no side. Yeah, honestly. dude, he's awesome. He's my new favorite cool guy. Can can you use Wait, my dude, hand? Honestly, a fucking alpha. That's what he is to me, an alpha. We that should have like great. an alpha hall of fame. He definitely is number one. Definitely number one. He's the alphas of the alphas, like alpha of the month. <laughs> <laughs> He's alpha of the month, and let's see if he can keep his belt next month. We've had, like, unbeknownst to our own, but we've had alphas of the month, if you really want to yeah, go back. Yeah. He's not the first. We've, <laughs> we've had some other cool guys, some other fucking chads, some really fucking dope people. Do you want to know who comes to mind? <laughs> the dude who... Doof, bu- doof, <laughs> doof, doof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that is alpha of the month that might have been alpha of the year honestly yeah that might have been alpha of the year he really year, ran bro. the year that he was, was even great. on the new year's special forget his name forget his great account, great so. guy though great fucking guy number three choose number three Oh no! <laughs> Look at him just climb. Oh my god. died oh my god 
Start from the beginning. You can see him chop down the fucking tree or the the hive. <laughs> how much? How little fucks do you have to give? Look at it. <laughs> you see the trail. That you see the pollen follow it. Oh my god, that was <laughs> pollen! Oh my god. They said not today. That was like the people that escaped the Matrix fighting yeah. back. I mean, how would you feel if a giant just came, picked up your house, and threw it? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be pretty mad too. I think me and my family would fight. Shit, my turn. Yep. How many do we have left? Seven? Yeah. Um, we'll do three. <laughs> oh no. I watched this last night. No. Run. Run, man. He's catching Run. up. Run, man. Run. You're almost there. <laughs> Yo, he got fucked up. Look at that freeze frame, too. <laughs> Perfect at that cut. moment, he knew. He fucked, he fucked up. up. Yeah, these classic. last two videos, I'll, I'll claim classic. responsibility for. Wonder how that kid, kid feels after that. <laughs> he doesn't. He's brain dead. <laughs> One through six. Six. <laughs> that was good <laughs> solid seven that one was actually the one that made me crack up before yeah. i forgot i had that one that's the one that you were like okay i have five yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think we got through three of yours. Yeah. And two, two of mine. Years. We have five left? Five left. Three. Three, three, three. What the hell? That's a damn Lamborghini pill. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sapphire blue. Lamborghini boy. That's like a dragon from Dragon thing, Tales. You fit two, three bitches in there and throw a deer in the bed. <laughs> I like everyone's finding out that Brandon's a truck truck lover. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're down to four. Three it's uh three and three now, right? We each have two videos left. I think. We'll see. You mean two and two? You said three and three. No, I was saying like three and three, like we like we've seen three of yours. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um. So I'll pick number. We'll keep the three train going. Cold B. What? Warm him up. Give him a blanket. Cold oh, beer. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. They had to get a scrolling sign for one letter. <laughs> Old beer. That was giving Vine energy. That was Vine energy. I like that. Road work ahead. <laughs> yeah. I sure hope it does. All right. One through three. Three. The last three. <laughs> dude people just clicked off of our video nice you just our viewer count dropped <laughs> <laughs> i'll probably play some fancy music in the background no nah, keep it as it is as it is yeah that's horrible dude might have to censor that on youtube mm-hmm Dude threw up and fucking pissed. <laughs> nice humor, dude. 
<laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I'll be honest. Dude, don't get me wrong. That was. <laughs> Just not in good taste. Horrible. <laughs> Dude, that video was horrendous. <laughs> but 10 out of 10. So this is your turn, sir. Did I choose so, between one and two? Yeah, and if you get the yes side, that'll be one, no side, two. Call it. No, just see whatever it is. And Call that's it. The, that's the one we get. Call it. You're, you've seen that movie. I've showed you that movie, right? Where the like, dude flips the coin and he's like, Call it. And then if you get it wrong, he kills you. No Country for Old Men. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Benicio del Toro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good movie. Um, no. Anyway. It's no. It's no? Yeah. So that's two, right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's comedy. <laughs> that's hilarious. So that's all my video. <laughs> <laughs> so the last one's yours. Sweet. Let's see it. I'm in the number it. one spot. This isn't a funny one. I know which one it is. <laughs> oh my god, what even is that? What the fuck? That's some Final Destination shit. Oh my god. Death is going to be coming after him now. For like nine movies. <laughs> <laughs> and a prequel. <laughs> coming to theaters near you. Imagine this entire podcast was just a paid sponsor. For, for the fucking... next Final Destination. <laughs> Final Destination 10. I think that is a thing. Ten? There's ten of them? I think. I don't know. Fog them. Movie's scary. Yeah. I don't want to think about that. All right. Break's over. Yeah, I had fun. Yeah, that was a good one. The coin brings a new element to it. I like it. I want to peel it. I need the chocolate inside. Imagine. I kind of thought that's what it was. <laughs> I want to believe there is in here. This is unobtainable. But anyway, we'll see you guys in the normal pod. We'll wrap things up. All right. We're, we're back. back. Normal pod. Time to wrap things up. It's Time been a fun to say one. goodbye. Been, uh, been a pretty wild ride. Yeah. Some, some might say like King the Ka. Nice. That's a... Yeah, full circle around. That, yeah. 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 Um. Anything else? Mm. Anything else important that we're forgetting? No, I just wanted to be on record. I want to say that I I got banned on Apex. I know I'm always, <sighs> you know, preaching the holy Bible of it. You know, the legends. But um, unfortunately, I got banned for seven days, and it'll be lifted by Monday. Because I called somebody a hoe. But they didn't. They got my banner and they didn't res me. And I was like, what are you doing? And then they were like. Your lawyers are so angry at you right now. Dude, they were like, um, you're in timeout. We'll res you later. And I'm like, ho. And at first it, it came up, you know, the asterisk. It didn't show it. So I said H-O space E. So it said it. And I was like, yeah. And I was just like, your mom. <laughs> I was like, ho. And then I said, just like your mom. And he was like, reported. And I was like, whatever, loser. And then I logged off for the night. And the next day I went to go and I wanted to stream it because it was the ape. It was the split. You know what I mean? I couldn't reach Diamond. That was my whole goal. I spent 30 fucking 
streams getting from no i spent basically like uh like 35 streams from rookie to fucking platinum one and a fucking quarter or no one in, one and three quarters i was so fucking close to diamond and then i get fucking banned uh, imagine they take all your skins away dude i was so mad i was so mad bro I, I was right is, there. Do you think this is your time to retire? <sighs> and just play other games? Other games? There are no other games. Cut up your Mirage hat? <laughs> my Mirage Cowboy hat? Yeah. I spent real money. That breaks my heart. I spent real money on Caustic. Dude, this I... This game breaks my heart. <laughs> I've been so lost without Apex because that's the only game I ever fucking play. I've been... Last night, I played Fortnite. No. I play Fortnite by myself. Oh, please. It's not even OG Fortnite. Don't do it. I got second place, the highest that I got. Oh, you'll never get a victory right Dude, I was so close. I, like, bro. Mm. That's how it always is. It's so close, yet so far away in those games. Dude. And that <laughs> never ending lust for that victory that you don't get for days. That bittersweet that. victory royale. You play so many games and you think you're, you're getting, you're getting something out of it because you get to play like 50 plus games a day. But you're not really because you're not winning any of them. Not winning anything. You're not getting achievements. You're not. There is no goals, or you're not obtaining anything. Only this bullshit fake currency to then potentially put into a skin that's a bullshit made up number. Like who says this Bangalore skin is twenty dollars? Who says that you guys say it is? Well, personally, the way it looks, it looks like shit, and I think I should only pay five dollars for this microtransaction that I don't even have physically. Why are we charging twenty dollars for this shit? Why is it when I want to get a currency, you do all this fucking bullshit where I, the way they set up their apex coins, it's to purposely make you buy just like an odd amount so you have enough to buy that one fucking thing you want but then you have an odd amount left over never where it forces you yeah. to buy more to then get the next thing like they, they they set up those fucking coins and everything very perfectly so it's always trying to like entice you to get the the, the higher package the but i don't give into microtransactions and i just play the game for free as but you want that wants. mirage skin I did, yeah. Sometimes I'll put money into it. If something is like, I really want it, you know what I mean? But there's nothing that came about in like a long time. Because I learned, you know, like... I miss the days of Microsoft points. <clears throat> yeah, man. Fucking... Going to GameStop, getting 1,600 Microsoft points. I never thinking I was a fucking baller, an OG swagged out baller. Just a really cool, just a, just a really sick dude. When I come home with like a twenty four hundred point yeah. Microsoft card, like oh shit, my and mom got the money. I also been pr- trying to play Halo, the online. That's hard. It's not fun by yourself anymore. We used to play it, you and I. Remember? You should play Dark Tide with me. No. Why? Because it probably won't run ro- run well on the OG Xbox. Well, it's the Xbox playing, One. Oh, uh, playing you know, on your PC. Yeah, exactly. I should be getting a part tomorrow. The, the graphics G- card. Yeah. Just gotta get that CPU. Yeah, that's nice. I was looking at a. Uh, I'll tell you exactly what I'm looking at. This guy said he'll hold it on until tomorrow. It is a. Uh, G Force RTX. 3070 Ti Ventus, eight gigabyte. But wait, what what piece did you buy? I didn't get it yet. So what's coming in tomorrow? That's the piece that I'm buying. Is it, should that I get that? Uh, like if you were to buy it, it'll come tomorrow. No, I gotta pick it up. Oh, okay. So, uh, a thirty what? 3070 Ti Ventus. How old? Huh? How old? Oh, like how old the guy had it? Yeah. Uh. Like how many? Does it say how many years in use? No, but he's listing it as uh like new. In box, no box. In box. That's good. Yeah. 
if the dude keep the box, uh, what's the condition of the box? Does it seem like it was like thrown into a closet or? Just looks like, you know, normal box. Like you took it out, put the box aside, and then. Yeah, I'm just uh, like, is there any, like, does the di- box look like, mangled or does it yeah, look Yeah, does it look fucked up? No. Like I said, it looks like he just put it aside, like, like he knew, like, eventually he'd end yeah, up selling so it. So, yeah. if he's taking care of the box, that means he probably takes care of his parts. Mm-hmm. I trust it. Say wait, say it one more time. The thirty what? The thirty thirty seventy thirty seventy ti. Yeah, thirty seventy ain't bad. Thirty seventy is like comparable to the one that I have. Okay. So. Nice. So yeah, uh, let's. That was the last of it, I guess. Yeah. I just. Base basis of it, I shouldn't have gotten banned on Apex. I didn't do anything <laughs> wrong. Anyway. Lawyers are blowing up your phone right now. Fuck. <laughs> Brandon, why'd you talk about the case? Sorry. But I feel like I'm innocent in this case. I tried to dispute it, too, and they never got back to me. Uh. Probably because I called somebody a hoe. But still, why are you going to get your banner and not revive you? Like, what the fuck? That's what? why I can't do those games. What a hoe. It's just, guy, like, the multiplayer space is so toxic now. Mm-hmm. So I said, I, I said, fuck all these multiplayer games, and I just went and played Elden Ring. I was like, if I'm going to get mad, I want it to be my own doing. Why do you have to get mad at a game? Just play I said, if I'm going to get mad. I didn't get mad at Elden Ring last night because I fought two bosses, and each time I fought them, I was like, okay, I know how to beat them. Like, I picked up on their, their move patterns, and I beat them. It was really cool. Actually, the first boss, I used the giant trolls. Do you remember it? We did it. We did that fight. It was the giant trolls and the, the fucking, like, chicken. The giant chicken. Not chicken, but the giant fucking, like, bird skeleton that killed us. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. where the giants were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, had, I made them fight each other. That's cool. By fighting each other, I mean they were targeting me, but I made them hit each other. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I did that, and that was really cool because I beat uh, I beat one motherfucker with another motherfucker, so yeah, it was really cool. Game still sucks. Nah, man, it's really good. I can't wait for the fucking DLC. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man! It's coming out in June, maybe or July. I think July. Future Elden Ring the, uh, content. Yeah, dude, a whole new map, smaller oh, but still. still. New. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to follow the Instagram at no side underscore podcast. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube at no side underscore podcast. Spotify, look us up, no side. Anywhere you get your podcast. Yeah, anywhere you basically. get your podcast platform. And follow me for the streams, X5X Smoke on YouTube or Smoker. It's one of the two. I don't know. I, smoke. I, smoke, right? Okay. My name on Xbox is Smoker. So. The hard R. <laughs> yeah. I should use A, right? Smoka. Take you gotta take note from our, our boy from the smoke break. Yeah. The the main cheese, the big cheese. <laughs> if you beat it thirty seven like times, it's intimidating. Yeah, yeah. Like a space in between yeah. sentences. Anyway. Take care everybody. Yeah, music's gonna fade in. We're fading now. We'll see you guys next week. For episode 91 it's been fun earthquake and now i'm gonna go delete this air raid app because it's gonna be sad bye guys <laughs>